What is going on guys, Radiz here, and I'm back today with Corrado. What's up guys? And if you haven't already checked out the first video we made, more so business advice, make sure you go check that out. Today, we're talking about real estate. So, Corrado, why don't you quickly tell them right now exactly what you're doing in the real estate business, and then we'll talk about how you got started. Yeah, so I specialize in pre-construction. Um, my advice is if you're getting, you wanna get your real estate license, is actually pick a niche that uh, you wanna specialize in and be a pro at it, and I think that's gonna help you out, like, you know what I mean, and, and, and do deals. Yeah. So, um, if you're looking to get your license, my best advice would be to actually find a team that you can work with that's gonna feed you leads. Um, you're probably gonna have to give up like 50% of your commission, uh, depending on the brokerage or the team that you, you sign up with, but um, if you wanna start doing deals right away, um, signing up with the team and finding the right team is, is important. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also invest in real estate, right? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. do you want to maybe talk about how you got started into that and yeah. how you even became a realtor? Like how, how did Corrado start? Yeah. So, um, I don't want to go like too into the yeah, story. We were it's going to be a really long video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically I wanted to become a nightclub uh, owner. Um, I had some money saved and if I would have bought a club, I felt like I would have got scammed because I had to buy a percentage of a nightclub. Mm -hmm. And back then I'm like, these club owners are like, overselling shares mm. and stuff like that so it was a shady business and i just wanted to own the entire club so i'm like you know what i'm gonna bring this money to florida because I, it was i invested during a little bit after the market crash okay right in fort myers um it was a great experience i i got a property for a really good deal um you know i didn't want to have that money just sit in my bank account right so i wanted to invest it and put it somewhere right away so mm. um I, I saw the opportunity i remember my father telling me about like market crashes and stuff like that and how that all worked and i was talking to people in florida that own properties and they're like yeah my property's worth mm. like 180 grand two hundred thousand mm. dollars when they bought it for like 450 to six hundred thousand dollars wow right um so then i saw the opportunity right away and i did a little bit of research um if you go to the county's website mm -hmm. there it's it's almost like a geo warehouse oh, okay um if for those of you that don't know what geo warehouse is it's like uh, basically you can search properties and um what uh, it's like what people paid for them yeah, and when yeah. they were sold the transaction like database it's like a database yeah. yeah so you can go on the county's website and the county that i that i purchased in was in lee county okay. and i was just looking at what people paid and um, and then after, after I was ask, asking the realtors, like, what are these units renting at? Right. So it made, it made sense. Mm. Like there were cat, it was cash flowing. Okay. The only issue with those properties over there is that if you're not a U.S. citizen, it's hard to leverage mm. and buy more and expand. So it was like dead money for me, but I already made money on appreciation and I made money on the exchange, which was like insane. Yeah, the U S to Canadian exchange. Yeah. Gotcha. It was like 33% okay. in the exchange. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, so I know you kind of talked about how, you know, like you would go about being a realtor, right? Yes. In terms of being a real estate investor, because that's like, that's a pretty big deal for a lot of people, right? They yeah. might be fearful or they mm -hmm. may just not know what to do. Yeah. What's some advice you have for people that want to get into investing in real estate? Um, the best thing to do is, you know, like just, you have to try it. You have to start small. Don't go too big right away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going too big is, is good if you have help. Right. You know what I mean? You have like a mentor or like a parent or somebody or a partner. Um, but yeah, like I started small and I slowly like worked my way up. Mm. Right. And that's it. Like, you know, if you start small, at least like you could recover fast. Right. If something were to happen. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, just making sure that you, you know, get a mortgage, you can get a pre-approval and you know what, you know, you're approved for is mm. very important. Of right. Course, yeah. yeah. That's, that's key. Cause if you don't know how much money you're going to get, so it doesn't make sense to, to invest. Like if you're going to have to borrow money at a high percentage, mm -hmm. it may not make sense to invest. Exactly. So make sure that you go over your numbers, talk to your accountant, your lawyer, um, do your due diligence, right? right? Yeah. Don't just buy something just to buy it. Just to say you own something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It has to make sense. It has to make sense in real estate. What I've learned and in investing is that an, a really good opportunity is going to come super fast and you need to move like quick. Yeah. Like agree. right away. Yeah. You don't have, you don't have a minute to think mm. you got to go, you got to go like fast. Yeah. So prepare yourself for the opportunity. And, and that's what I did. Right. Right. Like I bought a house in, in Vaughn, like literally I saw a lineup of people waiting yeah. at a sales center and then I knew the builder. So I just called up the builder, bought a house. <laughs> yeah. And I was able to pick the one I wanted no right way. on the spot. Yeah. Wow. So you have to be spontaneous like that and you have to like 
be ready <laughs> wow. to buy. And that's that's how you do well in real estate, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. Because like, the other thing is, like you said, yeah. there was a lineup. If you don't pick it up, someone else will. Look, if something, gone. if if there's a good opportunity out there, yeah. what's going to happen? There's going to be so many people that are going to want it before yeah, you. exactly. So you have to be ready for it. You have to know how to handle that. Like giving extra money if you have to is, is important, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say, let's say the house, you want to buy a house, $600,000 offer six, six, 10. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, like it's something you're, you know, you're going to keep or it's a good investment. Right. Mm -hmm. So that it's just little things are important. Right. Yeah. And I think another thing that I like what you said is mm -hmm. you said that you knew the builder, you called him up and I yeah. think having a network and just networking, knowing people mm -hmm. is very important too. Right. Like, do you maybe yeah. have any, like, how important is that to you to really get into real estate and even as an investor, right? Mm -hmm. Knowing people is, is key and networking. And, um, I've, I believe in that. And that's why, like, I'm here with you. Like, yeah. you know, I like doing videos with people and, and connecting it's, it's important, right? Cause that's how you build relationships and hundred percent. Um, you know, that's like, I remember when I was a nightclub promoter, I'd go to the mall and I used to have like connections at every <laughs> store. I probably <laughs> have, I still do, but like, yeah, yeah. Because I used to get people in, in free. Mm. Um, I used to hook them up with bottle service. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and, and I got to uh, meet a lot of people that way. Mm. Right. And now some of them buy condos for me or they buy properties and, mm. you know, I help them with real estate. Right. Yeah. So but just being known is very important as a real getting estate Getting your face out there. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Back then when I was a promoter, like social media wasn't big. Mm. When I first started, right. It wasn't a big deal. Um, but, but yeah, like just being out there and showing my face and standing outside of a nightclub, getting people in. So I treated that business like, um, just to make money. A lot of promoters did it for alcohol, Fame. girls, whatever. Yeah. For me, it was like pure, strictly business. Straight to the cash guys, straight to the cash. I yeah. like it. So Corrado, obviously being a real estate agent, you know, some people do it full time, some people yeah. do it part time. You know, the money's hard to get when you're starting off. What do you recommend for someone who, you know, is having that money, it's money situation, a money issue? Yeah. Here's some advice for people that are just getting their license. Mm -hmm. You know, doing the actual courses and passing and all that stuff is, is the easy part. Yeah. The hard <laughs> part is actually getting deals done. Making money. Yeah. Making money. So having another job, you know, don't be, don't, don't be afraid. Like have another job. That's what I did. Like mm -hmm. I was, a, I was promoting, promoting is something that I enjoy to do. So I was lucky. Right. So even if you're working at like Walmart, wherever it is to make that extra income to help, you know, help you, help you out in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. Is I, I think it's, it's key. Right. right. And not getting demotivated. Like it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. You got to remember people are, when they're investing in real estate, it's a, one of the biggest transactions that they'll ever make in their yeah. life. Yeah, exactly. Right. So just be patient and work hard. And I, I think that's very important. Right. Right. Yeah. So, no, I agree. Cause like, I think a lot of people, like people don't understand, like as a realtor marketing expenses, you know, if you're doing content, like cameras, equipment, stuff like that, brokerage fees, yes. all that stuff will add up. So like, it's fine to have that part-time job if you need it as well. But I think yeah. a lot of people like you shouldn't use that as like a, Oh, I have a part-time job, so I'm just not going to work as a realtor. Like kind yeah. of in a way what I was doing in a sense. Yeah. So but like, yeah, here's some advice. Like when you're, when you're signing up for a brokerage, mm -hmm. right? Make sure that, you know, you, you're getting deals, you're getting leads, mm -hmm. right? So if you're, if you're going to get these leads, right? Yeah. You're going to have to pay a lot, but look, look at, look at where I'm at now. Now I can work at a brokerage that they don't charge as much for, uh, for like, you know, because, because I'm not getting leads from them. Mm. Right. So the commission splits not as high. Right. Right. But it, it takes time to get to that. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm. Right. So I got demotivated. Like I wanted to stop because mm. I already had something good going with, with the nightclub business and I enjoyed that. It's my passion. Right. Um, but then slowly I gave it a shot. I didn't give up, you know, mm. I was patient. Right. And Gary V says this a lot of times, like, you know, you don't know when that day can happen. It's the tipping point, the tipping point. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So just, you have to be patient with it. Right. I agree. And I like how you said, like how the nightclub thing was your passion. Another mm -hmm. thing like to notice is like, yes, Corrado is saying, you know, if you want to do deals, do that. But like, if you're someone who maybe you want to do real estate part-time, right. Yeah. Then you don't have to necessarily jump onto a full fledged broker. That's going to give you deals left, right, center. Maybe if you want to do your own thing, that's cool. The, I think the whole point is yeah, there's options, right. And it's about yeah. Corrado chose his path. You should choose your path, right? Like it's not yeah. like there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's yeah. If you have, if you have hundreds of thousands of dollars and you want to throw yeah. it into getting leads, 
you know, spending money on Facebook, Google, uh, YouTube, and all these platforms, yeah, you're going to generate leads. Yeah. But then also the other part is gaining experience is, is key, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. You know, experience is important. You can get all these leads, but if you don't have experience, you don't know how to, you know, close a deal. It's just useless. Yeah, exactly. And another thing with like the tipping point is, mm -hmm. I feel like once people get past that tipping point, it just becomes like a snowball effect. You get one deal and then from that yeah. you get two and then it's just, boom, it's just like a huge snowball at the end. It just yeah. keeps on going and going and going, and, right? And the important thing is to, you know, not overextend yourself. Don't spend money on stupid things that you don't need, mm. right? What's something that you would say for people not to spend money on? I'm curious. You know, um, a car, expensive car. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, an expensive car. You don't need to be flashy. Mm. Like, you really don't. It, it also depends, like, your personality, right? right. You want to wear an expensive suit, right? That's because you want to wear it. Yeah. It's not, don't, don't dress like that to impress somebody else because what I learned in sales is that people will sense if you're uncomfortable, you're not being yourself. Mm. When you're yourself, people, they, they feel that energy, right? Right. And they'll trust you, right? Yeah. So like it's like that fake energy. Don't try to, don't front, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like that. I you don't have to do that. Yeah. But tell them how we actually got this place. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a story about this. So yeah. I think it's funny too, because like as real estate agents, we have to make shit happen, right? Like sometimes yeah. stuff won't happen. Yeah. So initially we were supposed to fill out my office. You guys know what that looks like. And then we called this morning and we were, they were like, yeah, it's booked until 6 p.m. And we were like, I'm like, yeah. Corrado, man, you're going to hate me. It's booked. We can't do it today. Carlo goes, hmm, let me see my office. No, I'm like, bro, we got to make this happen. Yeah, Carlo's like, because it has to happen today. <laughs> no, because I know we're getting into condo season now. I'm going to be really busy and I, you know, wanted to get this video done. Yeah. And yeah, like this office isn't like the nicest office. Yeah. I really don't care. I don't honest. care either. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, just it's important to get the content out there, right? Yeah. And so, I think the value in this video makes up tenfold to, you know, whatever office we're in. Yeah. Carlo, in case anyone does not know who you are, where they can find you, where can they find you, man? You can find me on YouTube. It's youtube.com forward slash Corrado Aranjo. And Instagram is at Corrado. Perfect. And all the links will be down below. But awesome. regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more content with Corrado, let me know and spam all the comments. Until next time, Corrado, do you want to say it? Keep killing it. And adios. Adios. <laughs>